Hi guys, welcome back to Prayer and Penguins. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. And now we're into one of my favorite times of the year between Christmas and New Year. It's just a great time for planning and resetting and resting and goal setting and just looking forward to a new year. And as part of my planning for the new year, I'm gonna be writing my prayer for 2024. This is a thing, a concept that I first started doing last year and I included in my bullet journal setup because I wanted to have a prayer for the year that I could keep coming back to and keep praying throughout the year. So I kept it in my bullet journal right at the beginning so that I saw it throughout the year and could keep coming back and praying that same prayer. And I really enjoyed having this last year so I wanted to do it again for 2024. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk through how I do this and to do it along with you. Now I have not prepped this at all, I have no idea at the moment what my prayer for 2024 is going to be. I want to do it right alongside with you if you want to grab a notepad and a pen and do this right with me, we can do it together. So the first step in this process is to start with prayer. Take some time to ask God to guide you, to give you the right words, to help you through this process. So let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for this opportunity to write a prayer for this new year. Help us to listen to you, to be obedient to you, and to hear where you direct us. Help us through this process, give us the words, and help this to be a prayer that is gonna help us and guide us and be something that we can look back on throughout this whole year and keep praying and keep bringing to you. Amen. Step two is to reflect on the past year. What prayers did God answer in your life? What prayers are you still waiting for him to answer? What big things happened in the last year and how are those impacting where you are now and what your year ahead is looking like? To do this, you could look at a prayer, perhaps if you wrote one last year, you could look at that prayer and how that prayer has been answered. You could look back in prayer journals, you could look back in your bullet journal if you keep one, or your diary. You could look at your prayer board, or you could just look back through your calendar or your photos and just kind of see what happened in the past year. So give yourself some time to go and do that. I'm gonna make some notes in my notepad too. Feel free to pause this video if you'd like to take some more time to do this and want to explore some different things. But now we're going to move on to step three, which is to look at the coming year. What things do you have planned? What things are you hoping are going to happen this year? In this section, we're mostly thinking about events, activities, things that you want to do or things that you want to happen. So again, take some time to do this. You could be looking through your next bullet journal if you've already set up for 2024 or if you've got things in your calendar, whether a physical calendar or in your kind of phone calendar, and just see what things you have on. Again, take as much time as you need for this question. Feel free to pause the video and then play it again when you're ready. But as we go on to point number four, we're gonna be thinking about what do we want from the coming year? And here we're kind of thinking, no matter what happens in that previous question in terms of events, activities, things that we want to do or happen in the year, what is the underpinning things that we want from this year? Whether that's an emotion, whether that's kind of an underpinning experience that we want, these could be things like security or contentment. It could be things like adventure or calm. That's the kind of thing that we're thinking about here. So again, grab your notepad and have a reflect and a think and a pray. Again, pause the video if you'd like some more time to spend on this question. But the fifth thing that we're going to be doing is asking God to reveal to us different words, specific words for this coming year. These may well be related to things that you've already thought about that he brings to your mind, or they might be completely different things. And do allow him that space to surprise you, for God to throw out those things that maybe you haven't thought about yet. 
So do use this time to really pray and to listen to God and to listen for his voice. So I will lead us in the start of a prayer, but feel free to kind of take this and keep praying and just allow your prayers to flow from here. So let's start. Dear God, thank you for all that you have done for us in the past year. As we look towards this coming year, please help us. Please reveal to us your will for this year. Reveal to us the words that you want us to be praying over this coming year. If you do feel like you need longer to think and pray over this particular section, do take some time and keep praying and keep listening to God over the next few days and seeing what he reveals to you during that time. And you can always come back and finish off this prayer then. But hopefully for some of you, taking this time to pray, taking this time to reflect, has allowed God to reveal to you some words, some images to you perhaps, things that he wants you to be praying for this next year. For me personally, I really felt like God was revealing this imagery of kind of fire and the kind of glowing embers. So it's definitely made me think about things like kind of the comfort and warmth that that kind of brings to mind, that kind of glowing fire, which I hadn't really been thinking about before. So I find that really interesting that that's kind of what God has placed in my mind, on my heart at this point. So the next thing that we need to do is write our prayers, hopefully bringing these different things that we thought about and that God has placed on our hearts together into one written prayer. There really is no right or wrong way to write your prayer. You can do this in whatever way it works best for you, whether that's a really long prayer or a really short prayer. Personally, I like a prayer like this to be around kind of four or five maybe sentences, just so that I know it's something I can come back to and just pray over quite quickly and again and again, and I can kind of start to learn it much longer than that and I just wouldn't be able to kind of keep that in my mind. But again, it is totally up to you how long, how complicated, how simple you want your prayer to be. But let's start writing. As I've said, take all the time you need to write out your prayer and to really think and pray over this. I have a prayer that I've written and I'm not 100% sure this is gonna be kind of the final version. I'm gonna take some time to keep praying and keep reflecting on this, but this has given me a really good starting point, a really strong prayer that just may well end up being the final thing if I keep thinking that this is what I want. There might just be a few kind of word change tweaks here and there. So the prayer I've written, to give you an example, is, Dear God, in this year I pray that you will be our comfort, our safe place, our home. As the seasons change, may we have peace. May we always find joy in being together. Help us to be calm, creative and community-minded people. Amen. And I've used we and are quite a lot because I tend to write this as a prayer for my family rather than just kind of myself. This is something I'm praying over my whole family as well. Again, that's kind of personal, completely up to you, whether you want it to be solely about yourself or about your family or anything like that. And then at step seven, our final stage of this process is to write out your prayer and keep it somewhere that you're gonna see it throughout the year and keep being reminded of it. So for me, as I said, I kept my last one at the front of my bullet journal and I'm gonna be doing the same in this year's bullet journal. I'm gonna write this out on a colorful piece of paper and then stick it into my bullet journal. There are also lots of other ways that you could do this. You could write it out and put it up on your prayer board. You could pop it up on your mirror or somewhere else that you go to regularly. You could create a beautifully designed piece of artwork and print it out and pop it in a photo frame up on your wall. You could even save it as your computer or your phone background screens. Again, just somewhere that you're gonna see it regularly and keep coming back to and keep being reminded of this prayer to help you pray it throughout the year. So hopefully lots of you now have a prayer for 2024 or know how you're gonna go about doing this. 
do share your prayer or maybe part of your prayer down in the comments below if you feel comfortable doing that I'd love to hear your prayers too or just leave the praying hands emoji down in the comments if you've been doing this along with me but we hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and Arnold we create videos every week about prayer exploring the bible and living out your faith and if you have kids and you'd like to write a prayer that's specifically for them, this is something else that I think can be incredibly powerful and really helpful and that I've done for my daughter. So if you're interested in finding out more about that and how to go about doing that, do check out this video right here and we will see you very soon for a new video. Bye!